Every service is down, water has stopped flowing, hospitals cannot operate and the main infrastructures have collapsed. The emergency services are seriously under pressure. Engineers, it's time to get started. Let's go. Well, the day comes in two halves. So the first half is more about problem solving. And we imagine in Hampshire, all of it has been struck by a geomagnetic storm. It has wiped out all the computers in the area and the emergency services are struggling to get through. So the first half of the day, they have to try and play a sort of computer game and solve the problems in the area. In the second half, they have to come up with their own invention in a kind of um, Dragon's Den-esque manner. They have to then pitch it to the end and I get to pick what is the best, the most innovative, the most interesting, the most creative one. We have an important challenge for you. We would like you to design a new software programme for the police officers, fire officers and ambulance officers which will help them in their day-to-day -day duties. You will be provided with a brief to get you started. We're looking for the most innovative engineering ideas that you can dream up. Something that hasn't already been thought of. We're looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Good luck. I think it's incredibly important to link the classroom to the wider world. And this days like this are just one of the ways in which we can do that. We give them a challenge and they not only see that what they're learning in the classroom matters, but that it is what's going to happen in the future. It gives them that kind of ambition. It shows them that science and engineering and technology and maths are all relevant and grounded in reality. Basically, our product is a screen that firefighters can wear on the wrist, like that. And basically, it's a, a map of where you are. Uh, they have um, uh, tracking sensors in them, so you can see what all your other firefighters. And it can be updated live, so if one firefighter sees a fire, then they can like touch screen, they can quickly draw on the fire, so all the other firefighters know where the fire is. We went onto the computer, onto this website, um, and we were solving problems where the city had run out of power and we had to divide all the electricity to the right things that we needed most. It was really good because it, um, with school you get divided into different periods of time and you've only got a certain amount of time to do things whereas we've got the whole day here so we get more time to think about it and include all our skills. I like science and maths to work out problems and stuff and I also like technology. I think it's good to relate things to real life examples and tell them what jobs there are out there and uh, by studying science and DT etc where that will lead them in the future. I mean I'm a civil engineer by trade so uh, I come into teaching later but uh, yeah I'm a big believer in that. All the groups have come up with some great ideas and presented them very well as well. You know, they'd be working in groups when they're older, more than likely. They'd be doing presentations, uh, they'll have group dynamics and having to learn how to get their view across and also listen to others. So it's all uh, positive things. Excellent work. Well done, engineers. Great job. The city is up and running and we'll continue to get all our services in order. It couldn't have been done without your engineering knowledge and skills. Thank you.